Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Scrappy Saturday. I have still got all my scraps from Wednesday on my table and so I thought I'd kind of film out of order and we'd have Scrappy Saturday with fabrics. We talked a lot about clusters but I want to do some ruffles and fabric flips and and such today too. So that's what we're up to today. Let's say hi and hugs to Lulu, Kim, Donna, and Carrie. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okay. Yeah, I just, I didn't want to pick this all up and then get it back out for Saturday. So I might be a little discombobulated when it comes to how this is working. Okay, so I want to finish these pieces, get them off my desk. So... Um, we picked out the flowers. I am just going to see how Art Glitter Glue does on these. And you know what I think I'm going to do is I think I'm going to sew these, sew these on instead. Let's try it with one and see how we like it. Um, I don't want to use any Fabri-Tac because I got my got my nails done for my trip and I don't I don't want to mess them up so let's just let's just sew these on oh let's get that turned on oh are you not gonna turn why not what's the deal dude o m g oh it's sitting on its string, that's why. Goodness. This is the second time I've started this video. It might be one of those because <laughs> things just don't seem to be going according to plan yet. Oh man. We'll see how we like this and we'll go from there. Okay. I'm just about a thread in my bobbin, but I've wound a new one. Not bad. I could have held that a little bit better, I think. And then this will go on there. So I'm just going to prepare all these. Let's do that first. Oh, and then I have something over here I want to show you, too. Just, just so much today. So much going on. But, you know... Sometimes you got to do thing in, things in the order that they're on your desk. Because to clean it up and rebring it out doesn't make sense, right? Are you with me on this? <laughs> okay, cool. Okay, so that one goes on there. We'll glue those in a minute. Yeah, I mean, we got a lot of clusters made. So I kind of want to concentrate on the others a bit. And I know there's there seems to be quite a few new people to the channel. So I think it might be good. To talk about well that's crooked but maybe that's cute we don't know <laughs> I kind of like it askew if you will oh guess what? <laughs> oh my gosh this video look I had, I had no bobbin thread the entire time I sewed around that <laughs> okay here's one let's just Let's just pop that bad boy in. Oh my gosh, Gail. Oh, you know, it's ridiculous, but it's how God made me. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, well, it was crooked and now it's got kind of holes where it was crooked. So should we askew this one? Let's askew it. <laughs> Is that even a word? Okay. We may be... 
we may be back on track. We'll see. Down there. Okay. That is so fun. <laughs> After a little bit of... Oh, I kind of like it askew. That's kind of different. All right. This one... You might say, why didn't she do this on off camera? Well, I tell you, this kid has been working very hard for videos while I'm gone. Two weeks is a long time. I think I told you earlier that I figured out I had like 18 videos to do ahead or something like that. But you know what? We're almost there. We're almost there. So, so you're just basically what you're doing is hanging out with me in my craft room as I get some stuff finished up. And I do think it'll be helpful for people new to journal making to know about um, fabric flips and such. Okay. I'm trying to keep the flowers with the ones that they go with because pull this down a little. The other thing I kind of have going against me today is the sun is in my eyes <laughs> this morning. Oh, it's just just coming in my craft room so nicely, but it's like, okay, I can't see. So I'm kind of sewing blind here, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> oh, dear. Okay, we're getting there. If you're hating this, then just fast forward through it, okay? <laughs> but then you never know what stupid thing I'm going to do that's going to make you laugh. So, you know... Fast forward at your own risk. You might miss something. <laughs> and then again, you might miss nothing. So, you know, who knows? Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there, people. We just made a lot of clusters. But I also wanted to kind of show you on the clusters, on the little bits of fabric, what you can do with them. I mean, it's it's pretty cool, I think, to just go boom and have a decoration on a otherwise plain tag. For those of you new to sewing, too, um, if there's a way to make your needle stop in the down position, that's really helpful when you're going around corners like we are here. Um, so, let's see here. Let's kind of get that, get that centered in there. on this one let's cut off the corners like that 
and let's sew around the card itself as well just while we're while we're here I don't want to sew the sew the threads in and then on the corners I go one two three and then I turn it that's kind of that's kind of how I manage the corners even on a round one because I'm really bad at sewing on a curve like that. So I just tilt it and go one, two, three, or one, two, whatever. Or four, two or three or four, <laughs> whatever happens. Okay, so that's, I love that one. That's real fun. All right. Now this one. Last one, guys. Last one. Okay, this one. Oh, man. I wish that sun would, would go up a little bit. It's burning my forehead. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. Okay. machine slightly but it's okay we got it okay should we do this one too let's just do it this way okay I'll sew around that So now we just need to put the flowers on. But first, I'm going to move this over, but I want to show you something that I have over here and um, kind of close the circle on it a little bit. So remember, was it last Saturday that we did the, did the uh, raggedy journal covers? Well, they're all dry and ready to go. And it, I didn't have to sew any extra, really. But, so, that will be that cover. And then this one, the um, kind of canvassy lace one, will be like this. So, they're ready to go into my cover, sh cover shelf. So, I'm very happy with those. So, um, yeah, if you didn't watch that video... If you search Gail Augustinelli, um, Gail Augustinelli Raggedy Journal, that it should come up. Okay, we're gonna try, we're gonna try this on here, and hope. I think it's gonna be fine. Pop these on all of these, and then we'll be set to go. Yep, just can't can't risk ruining the fingernails at this point. Okay. Good. Cool. We've got a bunch to work with here. And I think these are so fun because they're neutral enough that you can go with just about anything. Okay. 
Then we'll get to, I think we'll make some fabric flips first. And if nothing else, I'll at least, even if I don't sew any, maybe I'll just sew one small ruffle so you can see the process because that'll just be basically just sewing. Maybe I'll do that first and then we'll get into making some fabric flips. I am loving these little tags and journal cards, very fun. Okay. Um, and these, let me tell you again where these flowers are from. Barb's Journal Treasures on Etsy. So they're wonderful. They're nice and neutral and a bunch of different sizes and stuff. So. Okay. Oh, here's our, our crooked one. <laughs> crooked on purpose, really. It's on purpose. Okay. Just about there, guys. And we will have like 10 pieces done. I'm so excited. This little tiny one. Okay, cool. Done and done. Yeah. What do we have about? Looks like about nine pieces or so. So awesome. Okay, so we'll set those aside. Um, should we do a quick ruffle? Uh let us this this is a great size here so i kind of if you watched when that wednesday's video i separated my scraps into things that were good for a ruffle and things that were good for a cluster and things that uh bits that were good for a fabric flip so on the ruffles oh yeah I'm going to use a, a um, zigzag, but what I do, gosh, I, the sun is on my glasses. Hang on one second, God. I don't think that's going to help, but well, maybe a little. Nope. The, my shade doesn't even help. Okay, so what I do is just... I fold them. Yeah. I I take the piece of fabric and I fold it up and I run the stitch till the needle's in the fold and then I fold it up again and again like so. Um if that if that makes sense to you. And the reason I do that rather than like just running the stitch and pulling to ruffle it is the ruffle sits flatter on your page done this way. So that's that's my um that's my reasoning. So okay, so I'll just start off with a little bit and then um and then I just sh shove it kind of under the foot and I get the next one ready. I'll show you this afterwards and it maybe it'll make more sense. And then like this is a long piece of fabric, but I'm going to go with it because you can cut them at whatever length you want because when you glue them on the page, you're going to probably have glue on the seam. And so it's not like the seam is going to 
um, mess up. Oh, you know what? I'm doing, I did it exactly backwards. Okay. I was wondering why am I having so much trouble? I push it up under. So the exact opposite of what I showed you. Okay. So I switched. Oh gosh, we've got strings. I switched directions on that. Doesn't matter. I don't care. So yeah, if you just tuck it up under and push it and push it. So I'm just folding it with my fingers. I know you probably can't really see. I don't know if I tilt this, if you can see, but yeah. Anyway, I'm pushing it under and folding it as I go. And then I get my needle down to the, where it's folded and fold it again. So it's a bit of a start and a stop. <laughs> That's funny. Doing it backwards, I was like, this usually is so easy. Why am I fumbling so much? Which, you know, would, could happen anyway. But. But this is pretty a pretty easy way to do a ruffle. And um, so I'm going to do this piece. And then that'll be that'll be good it'll give you an idea anyway did these not too long ago I feel like did a bunch of ruffles um, it's a great way to use some of these scraps from the quilters because they do end up um, you know cutting edges off of things and so it's perfect because then they're just a good ruffle size. Oh, I'm almost to the end, guys. Could have done a smaller piece, couldn't I? But this is so pretty. I just wanted to use it. So I'll sit down with that pile of scraps and just knock out a bunch of um, a bunch of these at once. So yeah be good okay so I'm going to show you close up what what I did what I did what I did wrong and what I did right okay so at first I was trying to fold it up and up and up no fold it under so as you're sewing your your needle is here and you're just pushing up here sewing getting the needle into this one, pushing up here. And see how flat that is? It's not gonna bulk up your journal as much. So, sweet, we've got ourselves a little, got ourselves a little ruffle. Very stringy one, but you know, that's a fun little grungy look anyways. Okay, let's do fabric flips a little bit. Okay, first thing, I need to do one you may have, you'll probably have seen me already put this in the journal <laughs> just because I'm filming this one out of order, but, um, I need to do one for my summer, uh, nature notes, summer journal. And so I think I want to, I'm going to go right about here. Oh gosh. Come on. There we go. Had to, had to get into my stash and try to find some um, pieces of fabric that were, uh, um, what do I want to say? They were the right colors. Okay, that goes there like that. I'm like, why can't I get this folded? There we go. Um, and so I'm going to make this about, I usually go about seven and a half on it. Okay. So I'm making some scraps too, as usual. Okay. So we have that. I have then some yellows, some reds and some greens because the Nature Note Summer's is really the primary colors 
So, I think let's do this. These were a lot of the fabrics that I used for um, little golden book journals that I completely burnt myself out on because I haven't made one in years because I made so many, <laughs> so many in a row. Okay, then I'm thinking, maybe I don't want that one. Maybe, like, let's do this, like, and then like this. Yeah, I like that. But this one, I'm going to cut right about here. Okay. Alrighty, so those have no relationship whatsoever with Tim Holtz. Okay, there is that. Now we need something to go across the top. Um, I've got this over in my use it up area. How's about we, we do these flowers? You think it's nice because they're um, black and white so they don't take any of the attention away okay we're not going to use that one so those get set over there let's real quick like sew that now I'll just sew right across the top and oh I think I'll just do a, a regular straight stitch zip that and be done with that one and then that kind of shows you what it is we're kind of going for here cool so that's done for that journal that'll be good like I say you might have already seen me put it in the journal because I'm just all sorts of all over the place okay so now, there's that. So you could put like a flower. You could put a butterfly. Um, maybe one of those round pieces. Like, let's grab, grab this for a second. Some of the pieces from, say for instance, you could put that horsey there. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I think I want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to see what happens. I just put some of this right here. Okay, that is done, done, decorated and everything. All right, cool. So we'll put that over in our pile of things we've done. Awesome. All right, so now let's grab the pile of Timmy things that could maybe be a fabric flip. Like, so like that one I made seven and a half inches long. This piece is about six. That's okay. You can do a six inch one. No, no um, rules about that. The only thing that I try and make sure is it's going to fit on a page okay. Because if it's too big, see that's that's probably okay. But this is going to take up some because of sewing it into the signature. So I think what I'll do is just take a, I don't know, half an inch or so off of this. Now, um, this... 
this I can use on the top of a tag, right? So that's what that's that's where that's gonna go. Okay, so we've got your stark black happening right now, which um I think I'd I think I'd like it to be a little brighter than that. Um Oh, this is cool. That could go on there. Yeah, and it's just it's just building it up with the scraps that you have. Um, I'm wondering. Let me just grab over on my finish it table. Is this one too? Is it too long to go in this journal? Maybe not. Maybe this could go on a page in here. That might be fun. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. My brain just goes all over the place when I'm doing this kind of fun stuff. Let's see. What do we have? Okay. See, that feels too Halloween-y to me. I don't, don't care for that. So let's see what else we have. We've got this gold, which this could be good on a longer one. So I don't really have a smaller one of those. No. Hmm. Don't want to do green. Don't want to do green. I think I'll do that and I'm just gonna give it a nip there. That could go on a cluster. Oh, you gotta love the strings on Tim Holtz fabric. At least I do. I don't know. It's kind of a pain when you're cleaning it up, but they do ravel nicely. Okay. So there's that. We have some of this left. Yeah. That is what I'm doing on that one. So now what I will do is put a bunch of these together just stack them up and then again I'll sew them in the um, chain piecing kind of way okay that could be a good one um, I did bring some Tim Holtz fabric over just because I thought I might need some bases because these are all skinnier. Look at this. I haven't even broken into it. Should we break into it? Let's do it. I love this. And I haven't played with it. I don't know if it's Tim Holtz, to be honest. I think it is. I don't know. It was, I filed it with my Tim Holtz stuff in my drawer. <laughs> so I'm not quite sure. Oh, nope, it's Riley Blake. Yeah, Riley Blake. That Riley Blake is good. I like a lot of the fabrics. I think my friend Diane said she thinks it's a gentleman. I was thinking maybe it was a lady. I don't know. Riley can be either, can't it? Okay, so... I think I'm going to go, oh, I can go this way. I think I'm going to go between these two, and we're going to give it a rip, and we're breaking into this. We're doing it. Okay. You know, it does no good sitting in my drawer. That's what I tell myself anyway. Okay, let me just, I'm just folding this up 
off camera because it's big. Okay. Ooh, I love this. It's going to be a fun one to play with. Okay. So now I got to get the got to get the old um what do you call this? Branding strip off of here. And see that? That's going to be fun. Keep that cuz that that could go across the top of one of these too. Boy, I'm going to have to look at the time. I'm having way too much fun, and it's probably just flying by on me. I could have probably torn this, but I don't know. Being a little more precious with it because it's brand new. Ooh, good. There's two of those paint palette -y things. So Riley Blake may be one of my new favorite fabrics. This is a 2019, but... The new collection is awesome. You'll be seeing me with that here as we go. Okay, let's do the seven and a half again or so. I'm gonna do a little more than that because then it, then the names kind of show, except I just ripped them, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Okay, but I think it's going to go kind of nicely with the Tim Holtz. We'll see. We'll see if we like it. Okay, we have a bunch more we can make because I ripped the whole length or width of the fabric. All right. So let's see here what we have. I mean, we have this. That looks kind of cool on there. I'm going to have strings all over myself. Okay, I like that. Let's cut it right about here. Okay, so I have that. And... The green and the the green might be fun to go with. Let's see. What do I what else do I have? I do have this. It's kind of nice too. Um we have this green. with that put that in the middle oh gosh time is flying um do we want to use yes I do don't really need the purple I don't think That could go on the top of a tag. Let's see. So, go across there. Cut it right about here. Ooh, that one's fun, isn't it? Yes. Now, I'm wondering. I don't know if I have... at my laces 
I was just thinking about something kind of down the middle of that. Nope. I don't think so. I think we're, I think we're good like that. So that was fun. That was a fun one. All right. Uh, I don't know. I think I'm going to keep going with this. Make a bunch of them. I think so. That's. I think that's what I'm going to do because already got this cut the right width and everything I'm just gonna cut this across these scissors don't love to cut fabric but you know so might as well might as well make as many as I can here. This one is about 15 and a half. I think we'll just go here. And gosh, I have four more then. Let's try and mass make them. Try and do them all kind of at once. Okay, so I'm going to move these over to my sewing machine. And then let's see what we can do with these four. So funny, this is not at all what I had intended necessarily <laughs> for, for this project, but you know, kind of go go with it. Okay. Um this is, this is good. Maybe we'll, let's do this one in half and lay it on the other two. Okay, and what else do we want to do? Um, I'm going to look through my little piles here. This fun one. Go like that. Um... Could I, I could do that. I want the green to show though. Um, I like this one better because it's got a little bit more writing on it. Okay, let's see. got some black I could go that way with that a little different um, Oops, it's upside down. Okay. Um. Ooh, that's fun. Okay. 
say this one do I want to put I haven't used any of the blue but the blue's kind of covered up when you do the see it's under there so I need I want something down here what do I want Okay. Like that one, like that one, like that one. This one needs something else. Um, how about, how about some of this? Yes, yes. This is so fun to me because, you know, um, these scraps probably would have ended up in the garbage had we not said, yes, please, we would like them. <laughs> Let's use the other one of these. Which one? Kind of like it on that one. I think this one. But yeah, fun to save these from the garbage, I think. Okay, so that one can go there, and that one's done. Where is, I've got this, but it's kind of, I think it could go there. That's okay, it doesn't have to go to the end. We're using that up, that's good. There's also on that roll some writing that I think might be nice here. Yeah. This is just a little Hobby Lobby um, trim here. Okay, then this one. Well, we don't need to use trim. We could use like a strip of fabric. Not that. Ooh, I kind of like that. And then the um, lighter thread will be kind of a contrast too. Okay. We are ready to rock and roll. Let's put these together. And we'll have a half a dozen of those too. Woohoo. Okay, so. Off we go. I am just going to use a straight stitch. So easy peasy. And then we'll get to see what those look like. Let's see. And we'll get the next one and get it kind of lined up like so. And then just zippity doo dah, we have this done. I think this one, I'm gonna um, just switch to a zigzag. Go back to the straight stitch for this one. Get it somewhat straight, Gail. This one's going to be a straight stitch. And 
And just like that, we've got all six of them done. That's why I kind of like to... I like to make a bunch. Make a bunch and then sew them all at once. Okay. All right, let's see what we've got. Looks like prayer flags, doesn't it? <laughs> Okay, there's one. And again, these could have something added, like a flower right there if you wanted or something. Hopefully I caught that. Oh yeah, I caught it well. Good, good. And then I will just put these in my stash to use in future journals. This one may go, this one may go in my journal that I'm working on. I could always rip off the bottom a little bit if I needed to. But yeah, so we have five of these fun paint palette ones, and then we have this. So, yeah, so we made those. We made this little one for my journal that I'm working on at the moment. We got all these done all those done and we got a little ruffle now you could put you could put a ruffle on the top of one of these too that's cute so that's another option besides putting your ruffle on the side of the page so yeah there it is guys that is scrappy saturday for today and i would say it was pretty productive so thank you so much for crafting with me. I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you have a grateful day and be kind always and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.